Hi all, Mass Barncup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today I'm doing an unboxing and the review of a new camera that I bought. And I would like to say for starters that I did not get this sponsored. This is all paid by myself. It is the Sony ZV E10 vlogging camera. That's what I do, so I thought this would really help me have an extra, what do you call it, cameraman, because that's what really what I need, that is somebody operating the camera, and with something like this, my DSLR, my 5D Mark III, I really have no possibilities to be looking on screen um, what I'm actually recording, so I have to set up a lot of the scenery beforehand, it takes a lot of time. So now along with the camera, I did buy the uh, handle as well, uh, to make it easier to operate and also maybe do some better um, handheld videos and a 128 gigabyte V90 memory card for recording that 4K video. So let's get that unboxed. Let us get straight to business and unpack the camera itself. Just comes in a slide in sleeve here. We have a Sony seal of, uh, yeah, not approval, but that it hasn't been opened. So let's see what comes out. Okay, one year extended guarantee, register, give us all your data. So what do we have down here? We have a neck strap. Yeah, that's a UK plug with the fuse in. Not gonna use that. We have the uh, dead cat for the microphone. This seems to be a USB charger. Very small. Uh, what does that say? 1.5 amp at 5 volt. Have a battery. So that's a NPF. V50 battery pack. I kind of read that uh, I should actually buy more of these, that uh, I only get something like two hours of uh, 4K recording time on this. We have a uh, European cable, or at least not UK, and USB charging cable. And then we have the camera itself. Quite heavy, really. So that's it for the box. So uh, when you're first used to handling a DSLR like the uh, Canon 5D, um, this feels very small. Wow. Very small lens. This is the kit lens, which is the 16 to 50 millimeter. Has this. Uh, Flip and uh, turn screen. Well, yeah, that looks fine. So let's check out the handle. That's a lot of paper. I really hate this. There's no reason to uh, to send all this paper with it. There must be some kind of law saying that they have to. But uh, could we please not send? stuff in 30 different languages. Okay, so a handle um, pouch, but nothing for the camera. Interesting. Quite a big handle uh, compared to the camera, but that also uh, doubles as a, a tripod, which actually should uh, make it very easy to uh, record something I'm doing myself, as I have now, zoom and photo and movie buttons sitting at the front here. Uh, it's not a stabilizing grip, but uh, should make it uh, somewhat easier just to get a little distance, except holding your camera like this. Which is also... Um, why am I used to something like I can hold it in my right hand? I'm not. I'm mistaken. Mm, let's see. The lock button here to change the E-mount camera lens here. Look at that sensor, it's huge. Very nice. 
Yep, so uh, let me get this uh, charged and uh, let's see what it can do. Okay, so this is in uh, 1080 HD. Let's just uh, go through the workshop. Now this is uh, just, yeah, normal handheld mode that I will de do with my Sony um, XZ Premium smartphone. Uh, this is the front camera, so that of course do, does have a lower resolution than uh, the new camera that I have in my hand here. But uh, the lighting in here should be absolutely horrible. But uh, let's check out how these two different cameras handle this. That's a lot of bloating out here. So uh, yeah. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of just walking through my workshop. Yeah, film myself walking around here. Check out how the uh, lighting turns out, as the lighting in the workshop is quite bad for filming. I did not put up my uh, floodlights right now. Let's uh, check out a uh, product view that I try to zoom in on some technical stuff. One of the things that had really bothered me with filming with the phone camera is the lack of good autofocus. So if I were having something like a piece of PCB here, some kind of technical stuff with a lot of details on that I would like to show you, I would have to fiddle around with zooming and getting focus right again. And certainly when using the DSLR, that's with manual focus most of the time. So that's a whole other story. But right now it should be something completely different that if we wanted to take a look at this, well, that's what we do. Autofocus should take care of that. So let us try to go a bit into handheld mode. But if we go closer to a circuit board here, let's see what, if we are happy with the result here, or we want to go close up with some of the uh, instruments up here. Are we able to read our texts clearly? Is the autofocus adjusting as fast as we would like it to? I hope you enjoyed this short little review and comparison with my old camera and it gave you an idea of how much better quality we're getting out of 4K video. And that also means that I will have to build a new 4K rendering PC, so stay tuned for that. That will be the next video. So, until next time, see ya.